My internship has been really enjoyable. As during my time, I was fortunate enough to be given a project to lead. The project I took charge of was to create a test design for a microcontroller that one of our engineers has recently built. Through this project, I've learned various of things. From learning how to write a design proposal, researching and reading of data sheets and components for the design, to creating my own PCB board through Alti, whereby I created the schematics and layout for the board interface. I'm really thankful that I took this opportunity because I've learned a lot. Again. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, my name is Thomas. I'm a junior electronics engineer based in the UK and on this channel, we explore the field of engineering and the strategies and tools that will help us make a better engineer. Today, I'll be going you through my experience working as a junior electronics engineer and what I've learned so far during my one year internship. I've gained a tremendous amount of technical skills. One such example is programming. I've always hated coding in general in university is because I never really understood it. Like I knew all the theoretical concept, but I didn't really know how to apply it. But during my internship, I had to just work with embedded systems. So I just had to learn how to code. And further with my project during the internship where I had to make a test design using Raspberry Pi and Python and code a structure where I can test the microcontroller helped me a lot in terms of understanding and using code to automate tests. So yeah, now I have really come to like program, especially programming Python right now because that's what I'm mostly using. But also I've learned a lot of C as well, C++ or C, I think it's C because I had to read a lot of code, yeah, code base basically of the microcontroller that I'm trying to test. So I need to see what data sending through what pins and stuff like that and uh, it really helped me further and expand my knowledge in uh, the C language and Python. Other technical skills that I've learned is learning how to read data sheets especially data sheets of ICs which is like integrated chips and SOC uh, system on chip and schematics that were designed by other engineers. You don't realize it but most of the work you do in engineering and as an engineer especially if you're in the R&D work research and development it revolves around a lot of reading data sheets and also schematics which nobody talks about it is always a pain though to go through like millions of data sheets because you i just for me personally i just want to go to the good part where i just want to design stuff you know but before that there's a lot of thinking going around where you have to think of what type of components you need and with that you need to think about what requirements you need for your design and choosing the right component is really hard and tough because especially nowadays a lot of components are out of stock because of the shortage of silicon and yeah just tough it's, a, it's probably the toughest part of designing. The biggest technical skills that I've gained though is definitely learning how to design a PCB especially a multi-layered one using Altium Designer. The reason why I believe this is the most important skills that I've learned is because this is the part where design comes to life. You're not truly an engineer if you're not creating things that works in real life. Because then at that point, you would just be a physicist, right? And of course, it is one of the most fundamental requirements getting a job in electronics engineer. Throughout my internship, I've had to work around with a lot of microcontrollers and Raspberry Pis because I had to create a test design and the most simplistic way to do that was to use a Raspberry Pi. As I progressed with my project over time, I just gained a lot of knowledge in an embedded system, Linux system, and all the communication protocol like SPI, I2C, UART. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it for all the technical skills that I've gained so far in my internship. But it doesn't just end there because there are some valuable soft skills that I've also gained throughout 
This range from project management, where I learned how to carry out a project and manage it from its initial idea to its final design. Further, I've also learned how to communicate better in terms of explaining things to other engineers and just in general to other people who are not very knowledgeable about the topic that my project is about, as well as communicating with other personality types, which is sometimes a pain to deal with because you cannot just ignore them. They're your colleagues and you know, you work with them, you have to work with them. Even though they annoy you sometimes, you cannot just abandon them. And the most important soft skills I've gained is having a more tuned mindset in terms of problem solving and to think critically about certain problems. I had this very bad habit of getting stuff to work or solving the problem without really knowing how it works or how I solved it. This is especially bad is because I'm not learning anything. I'm not learning from my mistakes and not learning how to diagnose a problem. I'm just basically learning a procedural steps like reading step by step on how to do things and get stuff to work but not really understanding anything which I blame university for that how the internship taught me that mindset is that I always got reminded or even you could say scolded by my line manager again and again and over and over when something is not working and I just give up too easily and I try to fix the problem without really diagnosing what truly the problem is or even worse just get a new PCB because the old one is not working or resetting a whole system to its default mode which is terrible is because you're not learning the reason and not understanding why it's not working uni really did me dirty there though these are the main things I've learned so far during my internship it has really brought on my my knowledge in terms of engineering especially in electronics however it also expanded my knowledge in terms of how to run a company and what goes into maintaining and expanding a tech company as well as how individual teams work together to maintain a reliable and sustainable product before starting this internship I didn't really know there were so many positions for electronics engineer as electronics is such a vast field with various titles this is a a whole topic for another video and all the other titles they are not under the electronics engineer uh, job listing but to just give you guys a little bit of an example like what what falls under that is hardware engineering, FPGA engineer, production engineer, RF design engineer, and many more that I still don't know. What I'm saying here is that I've still so many options to explore so many different titles and jobs to find out what I truly really like. But so far, my internship has really got me excited in terms of more electronic side of my degree because I don't really know what electrical engineering jobs look like. But so far, the internship has really reeled me in to do electronics in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video about what I've learned during my internship and hopefully it gave you a little bit of an insight what you could learn working as an electronics engineer. I feel like the reason why I could learn so much is because I'm working for a scale up slash startup company. If you're still curious what other benefits comes with working at a scale up company, you could watch this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more engineering content.